knickknackers. So um, the other day I, well, it's been probably two weeks, but I picked up a bunch of cabbage and my mom gave me a bunch of cabbage. I did a whole bunch of kraut. I had a head set aside that I was going to do cabbage rolls out of. And to be honest with you, I kind of got lazy that day and I was sick and tired of cabbage and I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I stuck it in the fridge and, um, <laughs> sorry, Becca just uh, touched a hot burner and didn't realize it was still hot. Just got done canning the pickled peppers and onions. So, um, yeah, anyway, I got lazy, didn't want to deal with it. The cabbage, um, sat it in the fridge, and thank goodness cabbage lasts forever. I did have to peel off some um, of the layers because they got kind of moldy and gross, but it was a huge cabbage. It was ginormous. Uh, so I had lots to um, sacrifice and still had a lot of cabbage left over. So uh, normally I don't use this much in my soups, but... Today I'm gonna because I have it and I don't want it to go to waste. I've already wasted enough of it, so I'm gonna make a huge pot of cabbage soup. So what I have going in here already is two pounds of ground beef. It's basically browned. I'm gonna throw in some onions, and this is actually one large onion. We're gonna let that soften. And the reason why I'm bringing you along, making this cabbage soup, is one, because I think people like cooking videos in general, even though mine is more canning. But anyway, um, I think everybody likes canning video or cooking videos. I know I do. But the other is I have some jarred tomato water. And I get asked a lot when I post on my Facebook pictures of my... Um, days of canning tomatoes, what the heck do you use tomato water for? For So I decided that I, when I was making my soup, I'm going to show you what I use it for. I throw it in as the broth, and I'll probably add some beef bouillon or better than bouillon, whatever that stuff is. Um, and I'm also contemplating throwing in a jar of beans. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. It's going to depend on what the soup tastes like at the end and... Um, I don't know. Every pot of soup I make is different, and today is just going to be this way. So, we'll in the end, we'll all find out exactly what I'll be using for my canning, and um, we'll see how the soup turns out. All right, so our onions are translucent. I'm going to go ahead and just add this cabbage, and I was thinking, should I use all of it? Should I not? Should I? Shouldn't I? And I'm going to. I'm going to just make this a cabbage soup. Oops. I love cabbage. And pretty much any shape and form. I'm going to open up my tomato water. And after I said that I was going to use that better than bouillon, um, I don't know, I might end up using some of my beef broth as well. We'll see. This is kind of what I do when I cook. I, I go back and forth about things and mix things up and kind of make things my own. So I'm definitely going to need some more water in there, although as that cabbage cooks, um, it'll cook down a bit. So I think I'm going to throw in another quart of water. There we go. And I'll grab that better than bouillon. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to start off with a tablespoon. end up stirring that out around once it gets hot because that stuff usually needs to dissolve in some hot water. So we're going to let that cook and once that cabbage is wilted a little bit more I'll bring you back. I'll do a little taste test, decide if I want to add the beans. Um, I don't know, sometimes I'll add some more veggies. I have some peppers in the freezer. I was thinking about grabbing a little bit of those and throwing them in there. So we'll see when we come back.
come back. Um, I was looking up different recipes while I was waiting for the cabbage to cook down and read a couple of them um, that suggested definitely adding the beans. So I drained my beans, I rinsed them, and I'm going to go ahead and throw those in there. And then I um, decided I wanted to add a couple cloves of gar garlic. So we'll do two spoonfuls of that. And there's already salt with the beef broth, or better than bouillon. So I'll um, let that cook for a while and then I'll taste it. One of the recipes had paprika in it. I have honestly never put paprika in my soups. Ooh, that seems like a lot. So I'm just going to try it and we'll see if I like it. Maybe that'll become a regular addition. And I'm gonna add some parsley. And I just wing it, you know, if I'm tasting it when it's done and I think it needs some more added flavor of some sort, um, then I'll add it then. I might end up adding some thyme or some rosemary. Uh, we'll see what my, my feelings are once the flavors are more melded. So that's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to let that cook for another, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes or so. Get that cabbage wilted just a little bit more. And then we'll come back and do a taste test and we'll see if I think that we need to add anything. I'll see you then. Alright, so we're going to taste it. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth off. definitely needs more salt. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, that's actually kind of thick for a soup. There's a lot of cabbage in there. So I think what I'm actually going to do is, um, I'm going to end up adding a jar of my broth and I'm also going to do a teaspoon at least of salt because it definitely needs some Ooh, that might actually be closer to a teaspoon and a half, but I think with a big uh, pot like that, that'll be fine. So I'm going to grab um, a can of my broth and get that in there. And then we'll get that another taste. Stirred up. Oh, that consistency is much better, I think. It's more like soup, which is what we're going for. All right, let me taste that. And yes, I know some people are going to freak out about double dipping and blah, 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 but I'm cooking it. It's hot. Any germs? They'll die. Mm. That's fantastic. All right, so there you have it. That's how I made my pot of soup for the evening. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.